In this video, we are going to write our first structure streaming job. It will be a simple hello world job. We will read data from a socket and write it to console. Let us start. I hope you have seen my previous video on introduction to streaming. If not, please refer to that video. You can get the link on top right corner of the screen. I have also added the link in description of this video. In that video, I have explained that in a streaming job, you will get a lot of data as events, which will be processed by a structured streaming API, and then some meaningful output will be generated. A lot of you will be already aware of uh, streaming APIs, which were earlier there in Spark, which is called uh, old streaming APIs. These APIs were completely based on RDD. They used to use a basic concept of uh, uh, DStream, which used to do all the computations uh, using RDD. So it was very difficult to use uh, SQL queries on DStreams, and uh, it was uh, uh, also very difficult to take advantage of auto optimization, which Spark provides, uh, which is based on data frame APIs. Uh, Spark does it with the help of uh, catalyst optimizer. Uh, if you want to know more about it, see my video uh, about Spark Catalyst Optimizer uh, on my channel. Now, the new APIs are very revolutionary. With new APIs, we are trying to have the simplicity of using data frames. Uh, the key idea here is uh, that uh, we should treat a live stream as a table where data is continuously added. See the diagram here. As the new data is coming in, we already have a table, which is kind of kind of an unbounded table. You can also call it an infinite kind of table. Uh, as the new data comes in, uh, it is added at the end of older data. And uh, you know this, this table is kind of unbounded. Uh, and you always query this table using Spark data frame APIs. So that's what, uh, uh, you know, in a very simple way, Spark streaming APIs are trying to do. Uh, this is the code for that. What I will say is, uh, I will just read a stream uh, and I will say, what is the source for that? And I will say load. It will give me a data frame, lines data frame, which I can process. I can run, uh, you know, different kind of queries on that uh, data frame and I can process that. And when I'm satisfied with the output, I can write it. If you see here, this is the simple code to write the data frame. I'm just saying here lines dot uh, write stream. Uh, I'm saying that I want to write the output on console. I am giving the append mode and uh, I'm just starting the streaming job. Now there is something called uh, uh, output mode append, uh, which I have mentioned here. Let us understand what exactly is that. Uh, there can be three modes of uh, 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 of writing data on our output source, uh, complete, append, and update. In complete mode, the en entire result table will be written to the external storage. So whatever is your output data, it will be completely uh, written on your external storage, uh, and previous output will be overridden. Uh, in append mode, only the new rows, which are there in the result table, will be added. In append mode is usually used when there is no change in existing rows, only the new rows are added. Now, if there is a change in existing row, uh, existing rows of data, uh, uh, which we had earlier written, uh, we should use update mode. So whenever you're writing output in structure streaming, you will provide write mode in form of complete, append, or update. I hope this was clear. Let us see this thing with a code example. I hope you have set up your project by now. So I am proceeding ahead with this first example. So I have already created a package. Uh, if you don't know how to create a package, you can just click on it and uh, you know, create a package by clicking here. It will show you a window like this. Uh, once you have created a package, you can add a class to it. So we'll create an object actually. So let's call it uh, spark streaming hello awesome so this is created uh, 
now first thing that we do in a spark application is that we create a spark object so we call spark session class and then we call the builder method of it we give that application a name say uh, spark streaming hello then we just tell how many cores i want to use on this machine for running this and you just set this so i hope you are clear with these uh, configurations uh, you know you have read it about uh, read about these things in your spark basic course so i'm I'll, i'm not going to explain these things here uh, then we can call get and get or create and we should get a spark object awesome then we can have a main function where uh, uh, you know we can write our uh, code uh, whole of code or we can just call a call a method get uh, socket data okay let me first explain what we are going to do here we are going to open a socket see here we are going to open a socket uh, say socket 2222 two, 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 and post some data in on that socket and uh, as we post this data this data will be read by our streaming application so that's the example first example that we are going to try as part of this video okay uh, i have created this function in that function i will create a data frame uh, and uh, what i will do i'll say spark dot i want to read a stream and uh, that stream is going to be socket we have to give some properties related to that one is the host name since this is a, this socket is open on the same machine i will give host name as a local host and uh, then port name port is 2222 you can give any port basically here okay so we have uh, read the data now what i want to do i have a data frame streaming data frame lines i will create a query out of it query lines now lines we will write this stream our uh, output we want to write on uh, console and uh, output mode should be append and uh, then i want to start the stream so okay now what we need to do is we need to put one more statement await termination and that's it uh, this code is complete and now we can start running our job what you need to do is just do a right click and say run see here uh, idea IntelliJ is doing something it is building awesome very quickly we'll see some output okay our streaming application has started let me type something on our screen
you can see as I type here, the things are getting uh, received by Spark. Cool. So I hope you like this example. It is very easy to write Spark applications, streaming applications. Uh, we will do some more complex streaming applications in next set of videos. Please subscribe our channel and like the video. Thank you.